Ivanka Trump was always by her father's side, as a child and through his presidency. But since the former president and the Trump family moved out of the White House, Ivanka has been keeping as much distance as possible from the rest of the Trumps. Number 1. High Profile Presidency being a part of a presidency that was followed all over the world, it's hard to keep a low profile, especially after working closely with the former president. Ivanka Trump spent a lot of time in person and on social media supporting her father's presidency. But being on the staff for a controversial president also means you can't share controversial stories until after. It wasn't until recently that Jared revealed in his memoir, Breaking History, a White House memoir, that Ivanka was allegedly shoved by a former presidential aide, John F. Kelly. Jared described the event saying, could be she didn't make a big deal about it because she didn't want it to leak to the press for her father's sake. Either way, that's a lot for any employee to deal with. Number 2. Dad Troubles It can't be easy having to listen to the former president's opinions on the election he legally lost. Part of the reason Ivanka and Jared are both keeping their distance from her father is because he can't let go. And sources told CNN she wants a less complicated life for her family, and that doesn't include the former president. Ivanka has always been by her father's side. Even as a child, dealing with her parents' divorce, she still maintained a close relationship with him, which is why he hired her as his advisor and not his sons during his stay at the White House. Now that their stay is over, Ivanka isn't posting about her dad as much as she used to. Not even a tribute on Father's Day or on his birthday like she's done in the past. Number 3. Sibling Competition Sibling rivalry is nothing new, and it's no surprise that there's some friendly competition in the Trump family, especially considering how competitive the patriarch is. Ivanka has shared many times over the years how competition was encouraged by their father. Even on the ski slopes, the competition only got feistier. Ivanka told New York Magazine in 2004 about a skiing incident with her father. I remember skiing with him and we were racing. I was ahead and he reached his ski pole out and pulled me back. It was still clear to everyone that Ivanka was the favorite. So much so that Don Jr. jokingly or not asked his dad why. Which is your favorite Trump child? And why is it Ivanka? But like any father would, the former president said all his children were his favorites. Considering she was the first child to be hired at the White House, it seems like there was some favoritism. Number 4. Relationship with Mom For the first time in a long time, the Trump family was seen together again in public to pay their respects to Ivana Trump, Ivanka, Don Jr., and Eric's mother. Ivanka has always been close to her father, but she was just as close to her mother as well. Even in their closeness, there were some tense mother-daughter moments. Ivanka once told Marie Claire, I think my mom threatened to put me up for adoption a few times. But it was the eulogies that showed the difference in the relationship between Ivana and her kids. While Don Jr. chose to share stories that weren't so pleasant about his mother, Ivanka, a broken chandelier and a wooden spoon, Ivanka shared about how her mother encouraged her to wear shorter skirts. An interesting contrast, to say the least. Number 5. Accepting Defeat Ivanka was the only person in her family that worked in politics with her father to publicly acknowledge President Biden. She posted on the day of the inauguration, while her brothers continued posting pictures of their father's rallies of unflattering memes about the president-elect, showing their sentiments on the election outcomes. This may have been Ivanka's way of being politically correct while not completely going against her father's wishes. Can't blame her when sources say he was enraged at the mere thought of Ivanka attending the inauguration. None of the Trump family attended the inauguration, including the former president, which broke precedent. This post was one clear step that Ivanka wasn't going to continue the fight with her father and brothers, at least not on her social media. Number 6. Future Political Aspirations there have been some reports from close sources that Ivanka has her own future plans in politics, more than just playing a role in her father's future campaigns. Even her mother, Ivana, believed she could become the first female U.S. president. Though there haven't been any official statements regarding her future in politics, Ivanka is still working with former Trump administration officials as an advisor for the America First Policy Institute. So Ivanka hasn't completely gotten rid of her connection to politics, but not in the same role most people expected her to take on. But once an advisor, always an advisor in this case. But if Ivanka ever decided to take her mother's advice, the work she's been doing could be a branch into a future in politics. Only time will tell. Number 7. Public Perception 
Public perception is always important when living life in the public eye. And considering Ivanka was raised in the public eye, she understands the power of perception. In her 2009 book, The Trump Card, Ivanka wrote that perception is more important than reality. If someone perceives something to be true, it's more important than if it is, in fact, true. Granted, this was in the context of negotiating and securing deals, but it's not hard to see that public perception regarding the Trump family as a whole has changed in the last few years, and it has impacted Ivanka's life outside of politics. Since leaving work as her father's presidential advisor, Ivanka hasn't been sitting front row at fashion shows like she once was, and isn't making cameos on hit TV shows like Gossip Girl anymore. That is enough for the socialite to retreat and keep her distance from the rest of her family's shenanigans. Number 8. Under Oath Ivanka Trump may be the only one in her family to publicly agree with Attorney General William Barr's finding that the 2020 elections were not stolen. Not agree with the idea of saying the election was stolen. During her deposition for the events leading up to and on January 6, 2021, Ivanka said she accepted what the Attorney General said. I respect Attorney General Barr. Her brothers and father, however, do not agree and are still maintaining that the elections were stolen. So far, Ivanka was the only one in her family to testify, and her father was not happy about what she said under oath. He took to his social media platform True Social to share his opinion, saying, Ivanka Trump was not involved in looking at or studying election results. She had long since checked out and was, in my opinion, only trying to be respectful to Bill Barr and his position as Attorney General. Hmm, even Ivanka's father has noticed her distance. Number 9. Making Her Own Way Ivanka has pretty much moved on from working with her dad, and her brothers have slid into her place. This former first daughter is too busy forging her own path. She's always had some role in her father's business or political career. She served as vice president of Trump Organization and a boardroom judge on The Apprentice. Don Jr. has taken over the reins as their father's political advisor, similar to the role Ivanka left behind. Which is interesting, considering Don Jr. wasn't given a position on his father's staff during the presidency, but once Ivanka left, he got the job. The same with Eric, who has taken over Ivanka's role as VP at Trump Organization. To be fair, Ivanka missed out on the fraud investigations the organization is under. So much that Eric invoked the Fifth Amendment over 500 times during the 2020 depositions. Number 10. Florida Living Now Ivanka is living a slower-paced life in Florida with her husband and three kids. Though it was assumed Ivanka would join her father at Mar-a-Lago, instead she and Jared purchased a home in Miami to begin their simpler, quieter lives after leaving the positions as senior advisors for the former president. She has since closed down operations on her clothing line, but Ivanka is spending her days balancing mommy duties. In her book, Women Who Work, she said, I realize that it might be helpful in changing the narrative, even in a small way, to, for example, debunk the superwoman myth. And she seems to be debunking that myth by showing more of a relaxed Ivanka, especially on social media. Not everything is politically focused anymore, and she's focused on showing her new lifestyle of being involved with her family and her community. Ivanka and her family have slowly been distancing themselves from the Trumps by staying out of the public eye. Do you think she's going to rejoin the family campaign or continue to keep her distance? Let us know in the comments below and be sure to like, share, and subscribe to The Thing Celebrity for more on your favorite celebs.